नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर सोशल साइंस क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स एंड गेम्स दैट वाज द ब्लॉक वी लर्न डिफरेंट थिंग्स इन दैट इंडोर एंड आउटडोर गेम्स टीम स्पिरिट लोकल गेम्स वीमेन इन स्पोर्ट्स दीज वर द टॉपिक्स इन टूडेज क्लास विल बी लर्निंग द फर्स्ट लेसन इन ब्लॉक वन that is houses in villages here is the picture you can see the young girl carrying water on her head and you can see the house behind her it is made up of mud and tiles the next house to your left it is made up of bamboos straw and tiles and yes we also see goats here right let's move ahead and learn more so block 4 lesson 1 houses in villages we already know that we need a house to protect ourselves from heat rain and storm right students we have been learning this that a house protects us from heat rain and storm today we will learn about houses in villages and how they have changed over time so keep your books ready content book worksheet 4.1 and notebook so the keyword to learn is chulha chulha means a mud stove which is used to cook food a mud stove which is used to cook food chulha let us read this houses in villages houses give us shelter and keep us safe we all need a house to live in so the the house that you can see here is built 30 years ago right this is a house in a village which is built 30 years ago so who built it and how it is let us read it santosh built this house 30 years ago he used to live here with his mother and son kavu so there were no bathrooms inside the house so everyone bathed outside the house near a well this house did not have electricity okay so to learn more about this house which was built 30 years ago there were no bathrooms inside the house so everyone bathed outside the house near a well this house did not have electricity now about the roof the thatch roof was made with straw okay the thatch roof was made with straw the walls were made of mud and bamboo so here you can see the walls here they are made of mud and bamboo when it rained the roof of his house would leak okay so when it in rainy season when it rained the roof used to leak means water used to fall down it had only one room santosh mother cooked food inside a mud stove called a chulha in the corner of the house so previously we learned about chulha right the keyword chulha chulha means a mud stove so you can see the chulha here this is the chulha okay which is made out of mud though houses in villages have changed we still see huts made of mud and straw however many houses in villages still do not have water supply and electricity 
women have to collect water from wells and hand pumps and carry it over long distances. So, what did we learn from this uh, lesson here? So, this house is built 30 years back by Santosh and uh, it is the roof is uh, made with uh, straw, the walls are made with bamboo and mud and uh, there is only one room here and when it rains it would leak and in that one room Santosh mother used to cook food on he chulha, right. So, though houses in villages have changed, still we find houses made up of mud here and there and many houses do not have electricity. Women still carry water on long distances, right over long distances. Now, let us watch this picture, right. House built one year ago. Now, this house looks beautiful, right? Colorful, beautiful, very nice with big windows. Santosh built this house one year ago after Kao sent him money from the city where he works. Okay. Now, Santosh's son has become bigger, okay. He has become younger and he is earning money in city. So, when Kavu sent money to his father Santosh, Santosh uh, built a new house. Let us learn what are the changes in this house. Okay. The bathroom is built outside the house. This house has electricity. Now, let us see where the bathroom is. So, Let us see that where it is. Here is the bathroom and it has electricity. The walls and roofs, uh, the walls and roof are made of bricks. So, the walls here are made of bricks. They are painted, yes, they are painted, right? Which color? Blue color and you can see the kitchen now. There is a separate kitchen and uh, they cook food on a gas stove. You can see the gas stove here. Where is the gas stove? Here is the gas stove. Right. There are some questions here. Let us see. Okay, we will answer these questions later. Let us move ahead. Let us watch this wonderful video. So, village, village houses in the past were made out of mud and bamboos. They were covered with thatched roof, okay, mud, bamboos and straw. Whereas, houses in villages presently, they are made of bricks and concrete. So, though we find uh, houses made of brick, still we find some houses of which are made of mud and straw right let's watch this video once again we are comparing the houses in the past and with the houses in the present you can see the house is made of mud bamboo and straw okay and let us observe the present day houses they are mostly they are made out of bricks and concrete they are built out of bricks and concrete still some houses are there in villages which are still made up of mud and straw right students let's move ahead what are the differences between santosh house in the past and that in the present okay we we compared the old house with the new house right now let us discuss in the past Santosh house was made of mud and bamboo. He did not have a gas stove. Today, Santosh house is made of bricks and he has a kitchen as well as a bathroom. Right? Let's read it in the table. Santosh house in the past, Santosh house today. So, what are the walls made of? 
in the past the walls were made out of straw okay the walls were made of mud and bamboo presently they are made out of bricks what is the roof made of santosh house in the past had straw okay it was made out of straw the roof was made of straw at present santosh house is made out of okay the roof is made out of bricks so where is food cooked the house which was in the past in that house they had only one room and they cooked the food in on chulha chulha is the mud stone today santosh cooks for food on a gas stove where is the bathroom in the past the bathroom was near the well today just outside the house does it have electricity in the past there was no electricity in the house in the past today yes it has electricity right let's move ahead how have people's houses and lives changed in villages earlier many houses in villages were built of mud and straw okay they were built of mud and straw today many houses are built with bricks which offer protection from rain and storm yes na students previously when the house was made out of mud and straw when there was rain it used to leak the roof used to leak it's a problem right but now today because the houses of the present days are made with bricks they offer protection from rain so people are safer now people in villages have started using gas stoves instead of chulha so even in villages we find gas stoves in most of the houses there are bathrooms which are very close to the house okay previously the bathroom was somewhere near the well a uh, little distant from the house but today the bathroom is next to the house many people like living in villages because they know each other very well and get support from others you have to remember this students why do people like to live in villages two reasons first reason they know each other well okay the villagers know each other well second thing they get support from others right next what are the similarities between village houses of the past and the present there is something same there are something same between the village houses of the past and of the present what are they both houses of the past and of the present provide shelter to people yes the house that was built 30 years back provided shelter to people now the present day houses which are built in villages they also provide shelter to people see next both houses have space for bathing and cleaning yes so let us open our workbook now workbook all of you open your workbook 4.1 okay worksheet for 4.1 let us read it put today's date in the workbook houses in villages so you have two pictures here look at this pictures and the question is which house looks like the present day village house okay one is from the past day village house and one is present days village house okay one is past house from the past and one picture is from the present days so which picture is of the present day house looks like present day house okay in villages you have such houses which picture is it put a tick to that picture okay either a or b you can put a tick second question renu has a new house 
Before she built it, she lived in an old house in her village with her children. Now, both her children work in the city and she lives alone in her new house. Okay, let us read the situation once again. Renu has a new house. Before she built it, she lived in an old house in her village with her children. Now, both her children work in the city and she lives alone in her new house. Write two features that must be true for Renu's old house and new house. Okay, Renu's old house must have been built with, you can write built with mud and straw. New house built with brick and concrete and old house must have had only one room new house has many rooms right next question why do you think Renu chose to stay back in village instead of going to the city with her children so Re Renu is still living in the village she could have gone to stay with her children in the city but she did not go to the city. She uh, instead wanted to live in the village only. Why do you think? Okay, why do you think she wanted to live in the village instead of going to the city? Renu knows. See, Renu did not go to the city because she liked to live in the village. Because the people in the village know each other and they supported her a lot. They support each other in the village. So, for that reason, Renu did not go to the city. Okay. Third question, write one similarity between Renu's house and the new houses. So, what is same between Renu's old house and new house? Both Renu's old house and Renu's new house provide shelter, right? That you can write, provide shelter. Let us move further. Let us move ahead. Okay. Answer the practice questions 1, 2, 3 in your notebook. Okay. Open your content book. There you have this questions. Okay. You can write the answers in your notebook. Copy the questions from the content book and write in your notebook. Fill in the blanks. A. In the past, the roofs of village houses were mostly made of. Okay. Past means in the olden days, earlier. The roofs of village houses were mostly made of, so you have to select one word, straw or bricks. Yes, it is straw. Most, the roofs of village houses in the past were mostly made out of straw. Straw means it is like grass, dried grass. So, uh, next one, B. Today, the walls of many village houses are made of bricks or bamboo sticks. Okay. Bricks are bamboo sticks? Yes, it is bricks. Put a tick over the word bricks and write it in the blank. Second question, how have houses and villages changed over time? How did the houses change in villages? You can write earlier the houses were made out of, the walls of the houses were made out of mud and bamboos. At present, the walls of houses are made of bricks and concrete okay in the past the roofs were mostly made out of they were thatched roof they were made out of straw at present they are made out of concrete and bricks right so you can even write that uh, most of the houses did not have the bathroom inside the house they used to go outside for bathroom right now third question while some present day houses and villages have running water and electricity, there are many people who still live in mud houses with no electricity or running water. Why do you think some houses and villages have changed from the past while others have not? Nana, try to understand this question. They are saying that most of the houses in, the, uh, in villages present day, they have changed. They have all the facilities like running water, electricity. Okay, but still there are people who still live in mud houses, their houses do not have water facility or electricity. Why do you think so? They did not change. Some have changed their houses, they have built nice new strong houses, but some still are living in mud houses. What is the reason? 
ok. You have to write the reason maybe they do not have enough money to build a new house ok. So, you write your own answer here. I want you to write one or two points here and that is all for today. Have a good day.